All right, time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, whether a function is differentiable, which means just if you could take a derivative on it everywhere or not, and also look at graphing and some different notations of uh, derivatives. Well, my other video, I showed that uh, derivative is just a slope at any point. So let's say if you have x, this is a y, y graph. Let's say you, you just have a graph like this or something. And this is just y equals f of x. And then, so basically, if you want to take derivative of, of here, this is basically the slope. So slope is equal to, to the derivative, and you would write it like this. You would write fx is defined as the limit h approaches 0 of basically f of x plus h minus f of x. And this is divided by h. And uh, some other notations you could write, and this is basically a slope. You could also write it as, well, basically you could write f of x. You could write it as y prime. This is f prime of x. Or you could, or you could even write it as dy over dx. Uh, right now, just, just consider it as the same as this. Uh, n not, not a ratio. I'll show you later uh, why this is u useful. You can also write df over dx. Or, what is this one? Yeah, d of dx of f of x or d of f of x or even dx of f of x and these are usually called um, uh, th these ones right here this is differential operators because they they basically tell you how they're doing the derivative like this x means it's on the x direction you could have a dy and whatnot or dz if you're doing three dimen three three dimensional but yeah, and uh, another notation for the, the the actual definition, you could uh, this is by this guy named yeah, Leibniz or something. Notation. This guy's um, he's the first to publish a book on calculus. Uh, but Newton apparently invented it before. But uh, anyway, so uh, basically he writes it as dy over dx equals to limit as the change in x goes to zero of basically change in y over change in x. And yeah, this, this dy, this is, means infinitely small. So, so the slope at, at that point is basically the limit as, as the change. This is basically slope as the change in x goes to 0. Okay, so now let's uh, first let's look at some graphing, uh, just some properties of it. If you were to have a say graph like, I'll just draw a random graph first. y equals, uh, this is x, this is y. And let's say you have a curve like this say something like this and it goes down like this and it goes up like that and uh, and if we want to just graph this is if this is fx if we want to graph let's say if we want to graph uh, f prime of x it's just this derivative of, of this so what we could do is um, if we were to just draw this here this is x this is y so the derivative is the slope, so what we could do is just find all the zero points. So this one here, when when it's at the highest apex, this is we'll call this uh, so we'll call this one a. Yeah, we'll call this point a, this point b. Uh, then whatever we just find we're all at zero. This is point c, and then this is like the highest slope. This one, yeah, this one. So this is like the highest slope up there, and then this one is a negative slope because it's going down. So what we could do here, first we just look at the a's and say, drag it down here. Let's say it's somewhere here. This is a. So this is the derivative. It's zero. So all we do is find a zero. B is zero. So we go down again. So we go all the way down to here. This is b. And this is zero. C again is zero. And this one is uh, positive here. And it's a high one. So we'll just go something like here. And then here is negative, so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to, so it, it's negative, so it's going to be somewhere like, let's say, say, around here or whatnot. And this one's positive, so it's going to be something around here. So let's say that this is the max slope, and then, then, then these ones are negative here, so we'll just go something like this. So then if you were to just graph it randomly, it would, just, it would look something like this. And then, yeah, it would look something like that, and then this would just be f prime of x. Right. So yeah, that's basically how you would graph it. You could just look at it basically and find out the zeros and, and just graph it. So now let's look at um, 
is the function differentiable? How, how can we tell? So how can we tell it's differentiable? Well, basically the derivative, yeah, well we can look basically just at the, the curve and there's three cases. We'll go three cases where it's not differentiable, where it's not. Yeah, so it's three cases where it's not differentiable and these are basically, let's we'll drag it here. Then the first case is if you have a point, let's say, just a random curve. If you have something like this, and then there, and yeah, so then this, if you have a sharp point, this is, let's say, sharp edge, and then that's that's one case, and then the second one is if you have a break, if you, if you have discontinuity, let's say something like this, and then here. I'll explain why. So basically, that's, that's one case, and then the third one is if you have, um, if you have something like this, if you have a curve like this, then you have an infinite slope here. Yeah, so this one here, this is infinite slope. This is, let's say, discontinuity. And this one here is, um, I'll just, yeah, and this one here is uh, infinite slope here. So uh, basically, what this means is here, if you take derivative along this side, it's going to be different from this. So the limit, so the limit as it approaches zero here is going to be different. So you got two basically different stuff. This one, the derivative will look something like, would look probably something like this. It would, it would have a break in it, and then this one too. So this one you'll have a break as well, and there's a slope. The slope of this curve here, the, the derivative of it is going to be different from here. And then the infinite slope here, you're going to have a, let's say, a f prime of, let's say, yeah, x equals infinity at an area. So this this one is not defined, so this is not differentiable. An example is if you were to go, let's say, one example, y equals absolute value of x. If you were to graph this, this one's just going to be an absolute value, so this is going to be like a straight line like this and a straight line like this. This is x. This is y, this absolute value of x. So the derivative here, if you're taking the derivative, this would just be, well, what's it called? Let's see. You know, we, we know that the derivative is a slope, and this one is a, this one is y equals x, and this one is going to be 1, 1. So the derivative, so for x is greater than 0, the derivative is always going to be the same. This is going to be f of x is equal to equals to 1. But then this one's going to be negative here, so it's going to be negative 1, 1. But for x is less than 0, we'll have f of x equals negative 1. f prime of x is negative 1. So basically, if you were to graph the the curve of it, I mean, the you'll have something like this. You'll have, so for greater than, it's going to be like this. This is called this f prime of x. This is 1. And then this one's gonna be negative one. Yeah, and that's basically for here. But then it's not defined at zero because it's just, there's a jump here. So there's no no, it, so there is no limit at here because the limit is gonna be different. It's gonna be negative one and one, so there's none. So it's not differentiable. So then we'll just write not differentiable at. At x equals zero. So that was just one example. But yeah, so that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about basically uh, if the function is differentiable and you look at if it's a sharp point like this or if it's a discontinuity or there's a infinite slope, it's not differentiable. Well, and uh, that's uh, an easy way of graphing it. And there's some notation. And uh, well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.